Throws out charges that a man had a pit bull attack his girlfriend. Anthony Easton of College Hill was accused of assault after police say a dog hurt the woman's ankle on November 1st. But he's still in jail on several protection order violations. And for people trying to navigate an end to domestic violence, that scenario is not unique. There are warning signs and help is available as Local 12's Angela Ingram reports. This was the seventh time in six years that organizers put on one of these domestic violence rallies. The goal is really to empower women and men and to educate them about a very sensitive subject. I investigate domestic violence cases on a daily basis. Behind the difficult topic of domestic violence, there are faces of people who've been seriously hurt or died as a result of it. Strawberry Edwards is just one example of many. The 21-year-old was shot and killed in her Winton Terrace home while her five-month-old baby was with her. That was one of those cases that touched me. Um, every time I hear about a domestic violence case that a woman um, ends up dying from as a result of. The case prompted Detective Linda Sellers to target the Winton Terrace area. We'll also entertain questions and to join with other police officers, judges, and social services that help victims. Winton Terrace is one of those areas that most won't come out and get on foot and, and kind of reach those people that are out in this area. And I wanted to come out because of domestic violence hitting those younger Pop, that younger population. Sometimes when you're in the situation or you know someone very close to you in a situation, you don't know what to do or how you can help. It was a relaxed atmosphere, so people felt comfortable talking with each other about the issue. The panel explained the process of how domestic violence cases move through the legal system. Ultimately, they're hoping to stop violent events and save the lives of people like Strawberry Edwards. As a advocate for the community, really just a plea to educate yourselves, uh, make women and men aware of resources that are available. There are so many great things that the city has to offer, the county has to offer. Organizers are hoping to do at least one of these each year in different parts of the city. And they say next year they'll start again in the spring. In Winton Hills, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. The group also encouraged men who are victims of domestic violence to speak out. Police say in some cases men are less likely to report incidents than women.